Hey, what's up? On today's episode of Dream to Draw, we're going to continue to experiment with different kinds of proportions with cars. So let's get started. Okay, so I've shown you a few examples of what it's like to just draw some cars, starting with the box. So we're going to now take that same concept and just play around with the proportions a little bit and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to start this off with uh, drawing it using some sections and then starting the uh, foundational layout with just a box. So the first thing I'm going to do here is draw this rectangular uh, shape here at the beginning and I'm just going to dissect it in half which is just drawing a couple of diagonal lines to the corners of the box and then I'm going to identify that midpoint. So once I do the crisscross, I identify that midpoint and then I draw a line in the center and that gives me my center line of this particular box in perspective. Now, before I continue, if you enjoy this kind of content and you'll enjoy drawing, uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give it a like. Also, be sure to uh, let me know in the comments section whether you'd like me to draw uh, any other kind of subject matter or if there's something you'd like to see. Comment below. I'll be more than happy to put it into my list of uh, ideas. So in the previous example, we finished up a sketch of a Mazda two-door coupe. It was just one of those tiny little sports cars. And what we're going to do here is going to go a little bit more generic. That means just creating something out of our head. I'm going to stick to not getting to too many details. The main idea with these examples is just to make sure that we keep it simple so that it's easier to understand before we start to build on it and start adding some of those details. So for this example, what we're going to do is once again, I'm just going to play around with a shape. So this is very generic and I've started off here again with a rectangular box and I've got my two and a half wheel spacings approximately, maybe two or two and a half here. And one of the things that you can experiment with is to identify where you may want to be placing your windshield. So some of the other car designs you see are just the generic cars that are out there. You've got uh, designs or cars that are cab forward. You've got uh, designs that are cab rearward and that is basically the cabin that is set either a little closer to the front which is cab forward or a little further back. Uh, towards the rear. You see the ones that are toward the back and you see examples such as these Vipers, you know, they have a really huge uh, front hood to accommodate the packaging for the engine because it's a, it's a huge uh, V8. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to look at placing my windshield, that greenhouse, a little further rearward. So that as I sketch this, I can look at, okay, what are the other things that I can add maybe to the front of the hood? Maybe we can add a hood scoop or something like that. And one of these things that you want to do is, is to ensure that you just kind of create these sections. So as you plan out your drawing, you want to make sure that the other side of your shape, you're making sure that it's following the same perspective lines. So this is a, a nice, it's a, a pretty generic shape here that I've got. And as you can also see that the greenhouse and the windshield, that whole shape is slightly inside of the rectangular shape. So I don't take it all the way out to the edge. But just for your mindset, it's basically like extruding the shape and taking it over to the other side. That's kind of the easiest way to explain it. All right, so now we've got a the front windshield. We've got that defined, and it's now closer to the rear side, and I've kind of joined it with a integrated uh, an integrated fin there at the back. Spoiler, sorry. <laughs> And then I've got a little character line here in the front and I can define that with the section a little bit. 
and there we go you know this is this is all you really want to do at the stage you don't want to get too complicated keep everything simple make simple shapes and forms that you can build off of later but this will really help your mind uh, rationalize these shapes without getting too confused I'm gonna add a little air intake here this little hood scoop and then we're gonna darken up the shadow here underneath to pop the entire and silhouette the shape out here and that's pretty much it so I want you guys to give this a shot um, keep it simple don't try to get too complicated and then we'll be sure to switch it up next time on our next uh, video example have a good one folks Thank you.